We're so glad you are able to celebrate with us tonight the wedding of our two beloved children. We've had a lot of fun and shared special memories over the past year in getting to this day. On the tables, I'm sure everybody has saw the wedding pictures of Tyra and Mark's parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents on their wedding day. We all shared the dream of love and happiness on those days. And today, Tara and Mark, we pass that dream on to you. Well, first of all, the fact that she picked the day that we were married was very special. And <laughs> here we go again. They were searching for a date and, um, you know, being the mother of the groom, you don't have as kind of as much to say as the mother of the bride. I kind of threw out the mark. Well, you could get married when your mom and dad got married, August 26th. And it's also my mom and dad's anniversary. So he took that information back to her and she embraced it right away. And she was like, well, okay, let's look for a venue and try to get that date. So that was really special for, for me and for our family. You know, all the excitement and the preparation, and it was exactly what she wanted. I think she was beaming the entire day. Beautiful day for Tara and Marcus. And it's, uh, it's a day that uh, they've waited for. We've all waited for it for a long time now. And uh, I always pray for well, my couples. Uh, people tell you this is the happiest day of your life. I always pray that it's not. Think about it, if this is the happiest day of your life, it's all downhill from here. When they were walking in and they did their first dance together, I, I enjoyed that. Because I know they, they went for dance lessons and practice. My birthday's in August, so my present was to go to, for a dance lesson with him for the, <laughs> for the wedding. So that was kind of uh, nice to share that time with him. So um, it, was, it, was, it was special. The whole, the whole wedding was, it was just gorgeous. Along the way, I saw how important it was for Mark and Tara that we all celebrate with them tonight, as well as be a part of their lives in the future. Mark's not with Tara. Him and I are usually stand on a rock in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean at 3 a.m. fishing. A few years ago, Marcus started choosing date nights over fishing during the fall and spring draper runs. And that's when I knew he truly had something special. I see a lot of fun, a lot of fun trips, and I see children and they, they really just support each other and are very kind to each other and I think they're, they're gonna have a good life together. She was always a very happy child. She liked to be in control, which she still does. She liked to know what was going on with everybody. Thank God I got a lot of cute flower girls. Take some spotlight. I think he sees her beauty inside and out. I think she's a person similar to him, like driven in her uh, work environment to do the best for our patients and things like that. I think they have a lot of similar qualities like that. She's very friendly, enjoys, you know, <laughs> hanging out with friends and a good party. Oh. Yeah. 
Mark was kind of a special gift to our family. He has, there's 10 years between him and his other siblings. And uh, he's the same, he was a wonderful little boy and he's a wonderful man. Pretty much, um, I can always count on him. Yeah, he was just, he was a great kid and I love him to death. Now, as a man. <laughs> and I think the greatest surprise we ever had. I mean, he's grown into a wonderful human being. He's kind, he's generous, he's hardworking, and he found his uh, little niche in the trade that he works, and um, he's really good at it. He came one Sunday to our house, and I was working, and um, I drove home from work, and I saw his car there, and I knew she was at work. And I thought, he's a plumber. I thought, oh dear, <laughs> something must have happened with our plumbing. Because <laughs> we weren't expecting him. So I came in and he's sitting on the sofa with our dog, waiting to talk to my husband who's upstairs sound asleep. <laughs> so I had to come up and wake Steve and I said, you have to come downstairs, Mark's downstairs. And he said, well, I have to come. I said, why do I have to come downstairs? And I said, well, he wants to ask you something. <laughs> He's just very kind. He's a lot of fun. He doesn't worry about things. He's just, oh, everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. So they balance each other very well. <laughs> you look like an angel. <laughs> Don't mess up my baby. <laughs> of course not. Oh, God. We're making it right there. Yeah, we made it. Okay. I just don't want to mess up any makeup. I won't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> He is passionate about fishing and when Tara embraced the fishing concept and how important it was to his life, I knew that, that she was the one. They're a match made in heaven. Tara and Marcus, the church shares your joy warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends as today, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this, your joyful day. May He send you help from heaven and protect you. May He grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he could call them. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. We're here, all of us, to support you. Because your love for one another and your commitment today reminds all of us of our loves and our commitments and the things we say, the people we say we love. And we gotta sort of think, do we really, we look at the time we spend with people, the effort we put into our relationships, do we love the way we should? All of us. You know? So you're, you're, your love for one another is a challenge to all of us. And so we want you to keep in touch with all of us, you know, to, uh, uh, to uh, and, and count on all of us to be models for you, intercessors for you, support for you, and to be for all of us a model and a support. That's what love's all about. It's about 
others. So we thank you. We thank you for witnessing to God's love for us today. We, are, we pray with you and for you that this love continues to grow and flourish so that the days ahead are even happier than today. That today is a really happy day, but they're even happier. God bless you. May you have many, many happy years together. Hi, Marcus. Take you, Tara. Take you, Tara. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love you and honor you. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Hi, Tara. Hi, Tara. Take you, Marcus. Take you, Marcus. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I love you and honor you. I love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Tara received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Marcus, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us now give our amen to their consent by applauding them. to see a life of happiness and living long and enjoying life and hopefully children they're just very well suited for each other First, I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight to celebrate Tara and Mark on their special day. When Tara first told me about Mark, she said, I met a guy, his name is Mark with a C. We've gone on a few dates and I like him. Months later, she posted a picture on Instagram holding a fish and I thought, uh oh, she must be falling in love. I didn't think I'd ever see Tara holding a fish. What can I say about Tara? She is unwaveringly loyal and annoyingly kind. And on my worst days, there is nobody else I'd rather have in my corner. She really has always been my better half. Tara has the kindest heart, a fun-loving personality, and an adventurous spirit. I'm so happy that she's met her soulmate, best friend, and travel partner for life. As parents of the bride and groom, Seal and Ray, and Colleen and I have been blessed with many special memories. And for Mark, it's for having fun stirring the pot, which he occasionally does, for joining me in the Stained Shirt Club. I was the only member until Mark showed up. <laughs> and for showing the love you do to my little girl. So congratulations. We love you both very much. Thank you. Your life together is going to be perfect, eventful, full of love, laughs, and fish. Mark, meeting you has been like seeing every hope I had for Tara's happiness come to life. I am so honored that I got to see you two fall in love. I'm so honored that I got to be here today with you guys. I love you both more than anything else in the world. To the Quenzers!
Mark and Tara. I wish you a life together of happiness, love, and adventure. Thank you for letting me be part of your special day. Please join me in raising your glasses to congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Mark with a C. Quenzer. Come on. <laughs> 